everybody, my name is Sandra Yap from Bobo Media and I am here with the founder of Fusion and Bitsy, Mr. Di Jun Chen. Thank you for being here with us today. Is this your Thank first you. time in Malaysia? Yeah, first time. Very Welcome exciting. to Malaysia. Thank you so much. Do you so like much. the country? Yeah, very much. You know, when I landed here, I found, yeah, just like, you you know. It's home. really relaxed, right? Yeah, very relaxed. Very relaxed. Very relaxed. Now, the first question I want to ask you is, Southeast Asia is often spoken of as the blockchain's new growth hub. In your opinion, what do you think, what do you think the reason is? You can, we can tell from today's event, you know, so many people joined this event because uh, a lot of people, they are excited about the blockchain technology. And uh, you know, uh, new technology always uh, get into uh, real business in some area who really have passion about it. So that's why I think you know uh, it's a kind of hub, and every everyone uh, like China is not far away from here, uh, and Japan, South Korea is not far far away from here, and uh, we see uh, the market. In Australia <laughs> is yeah. not far away from here, so it's very good. So we're like the mid, mid, middle point. Yes. Mid, middle point. Middlemen. Yeah, and you know, today I see a lot of people they from uh, Thailand and other countries to come to uh, Malaysia. And what do you think is the low-hanging fruit for blockchain in this part of the world? Uh, low-hanging fruit, I think actually there are no low-hanging fruit, <laughs> everything. Uh, you know, Everything is very high hanging. Yeah. And uh, I think, but there are something we can do uh, today, you know, uh, obviously uh, exchange. <laughs> yeah. uh, everybody knows the business model of exchange, right? And uh, today we can see a lot of people there trying to develop the different technologies in blockchain to help the supply chain, yeah. to help finance. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry about that. No and the people are, uh, can understand the, the 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 nature how blockchain can help the supply chain and finance. So in this area, I think probably it's just like what you have said, the low hanging fruit. The low hanging. <laughs> yes. And what do you think the challenges are for blockchain adoption in this part of the world? What do you think we can do to solve that? The first challenge is the perception. You know, when we're talking about AI, artificial intelligence. It's not very e uh, it's not very difficult to explain. Every people know what artificial yeah, intelligence yeah. is, but when you explain what blockchain is to other people, <coughs> it's quite different. Uh, it's quite difficult. Uh, so the first challenge is perception. How we can have people to have a, a right better understanding. Yeah, better understanding of I think we need more like layman explanation. Not like, oh, proof of work, consensus, yeah. everyone's like, huh, what is that? Yeah, what is that? <laughs> what What yeah. is proof of work? And then we just go on and explain, oh, proof of work is this. But nobody understands the basic of blockchain, even how it actually works. Exactly. Right? exactly. How do you input information in the ledger? Nobody knows. Yes. What is ledger? <laughs> what is the ledger, you know? Yeah. So yeah. the second uh, challenge is that uh, I think it will be the regulation. You know? Uh, we have to admit the blockchain and the cryptocurrency introduced some something very new, like the yeah. cryptocurrencies, tokens, uh, and the, all of those represent the value. And uh, when we're talking about a value, it will refer to finance, right? So finance is always the high, highly regulated industry, no matter where including yeah. Malaysia, China, United States, everywhere. It's highly regulated industry. Yeah. So maybe this is the second challenge. We have to have a very good uh, regulation to yeah. rule all of this industry to develop in the future. What do you think of um, the recent trend of security tokens? Because everyone is talking about, oh, you know, the next wave is security tokens. What do you? What is your opinion of that? That is good. Security token means, uh, you you know, security is something has already been regulated. Yeah. <coughs> so when people are uh, trying to tokenize uh, the security, that means they will follow a kind of regulation. Then once it is regulated, then that will be very easy to adopt. 
how about in China? Like, is security tokens yeah, legal so, there? Uh, security is, of course, security is legal, but security token has not been explored. Um, many people they are trying to try try this way uh, to have it regulated. Um, are they looking into that right now, or the, you mean the government? Yeah, the government. The gov uh, yes. Yeah. The China government is really very smart. They have already looked into this industry, you know, three or four years ago. Uh, the central government they look at the cryptocurrency. They try to study. Is that is that possible to issue the digital RMB in the future? So they are really very super. Now let's let's talk more about fusion. Yeah. Uh, fusion is an opening of like a new era of crypto finance for the Internet of Value. Do you mind just introducing uh, what fusion is to us? Fusion is trying to solve two problems. Yeah. The first problem is interoperability. You know, no matter in the real business world like in one bank or in one country or even in the cryptocurrency blockchain world uh, we see Bitcoin or Ethereum they are silo system you yeah. know Bitcoin cannot be sitting in one smart contract with Ethereum token and a, <clears throat> one, one bank is not able to ask another bank to do the book ledger booking yeah. for them yeah. so the value system they are they are separated they're a silo. What Fusion is trying to do is to solve the interoperability problem to have all of those ecosystem, value ecosystem, to running on one platform. That's why we developed a couple of different technology like DCRM, uh, to have all of those tokens to running on one platform, to connect the value ecosystem together. That's why we position uh, Fusion to be a value connector. Ah. And the second problem where Fusion is trying to solve is the automation of finance. You know, in finance world today, if we want to exchange value, like, you know, if we want to exchange one fiat currency to another fiat currency, we need to rely on the foreign currency exchange. Yeah. If we want to exchange uh, the, the stocks with fiat currency, we need the uh, stock exchange, right? Yes. Uh, if we want to exchange the finance derivatives with fiat currency or other things, we need the financial institutions. So we always rely on the third party to use the manual way with a very high cost and the low efficiency to do that. And it takes a long time as yes, well. Yes, exactly. So the second thing uh, Fusion is trying to help is the financial automation. With, with Fusion's help, uh, we can imagine in the future there could be some smart contract represents the derivatives which can involve more than thousands of different parties in one smart contract and involving more than thousands of different assets including fiat currencies and uh, uh, some other uh, uh, digital assets, cryptocurrencies, uh, maybe all of them they can sit in one smart contract and make them autom automated. So will you be working with banks and all these uh, exchange, uh, foreign currency exchanges to kind of bring all these services together? Yes, this is one of our strategy. Uh, we are in conversation with governments, financial institutions, uh, fintech companies, and uh, the blockchain projects. Um, one strategy of Fusion is to enable them, maybe uh, they are not big fan of public blockchain, so we can enable them to use a uh, alliance chain, but with the technology provided by Fusion, like DCRN, time lock function, and the uh, universal account number function, to running uh, using, uh, to, 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 to running in their on their platform, and uh, uh, you know, they can, they can try all the function on Fusion. And you mentioned DCRM, do you mind just expanding that a little bit for us? Just explaining what it is. No problem. Uh, DCRM uh, is a short uh, abbreviation of decentralized, uh, distributed control rights mechanism. Yeah. Uh, as we all know, all of the cryptocurrencies today, they are controlled by the private key. Yeah. And even some digitized 
fiat currency like Gemini US dollar, they are issued based on <coughs> based on ERC twenty. Yeah. So that means they are also controlled by the private key. DCRM means you know, uh, starting from fusion, we can not only have uh, the different nodes to help us to book the ledger like Bitcoin, Ethereum. We can also rely on the nodes to help us to manage the assets outside of our blockchain. Oh wow! Okay. Like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Gemini US dollar, Paxos. <laughs> Uh, digitize the US dollar or any other uh, digi digital assets. That's awesome. Yeah, they can lock in and running on Fusion, but the control rights uh, will be managed. The custody, the assets itself, will be in custody of a bunch of different nodes, not rely on the centralized, the centralized system. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. And um, what? When are we expecting, uh, you know, a new release or the new exciting news from Fusion? Yeah, um, I think very soon. You know, yeah. uh, we are executing uh, our 90 days plan uh, starting from starting from early September. Uh, we're going to, of course, we're going to have one strategy as of our public blockchain. We will ask our community members to participate to test the different functions for our public blockchain, uh, like uh, DCRM function, like time lock function, like staking with the time lock fusion, wow. like universal account number function. We will ask our community members to help us to test. And on the other side, we are also engaging uh, with a lot of different institutions. Just as I said, governments, financial institutions, yes, we're in uh, conversation. Amazing. Yeah, we're in conversation. With well, we cannot wait. Where can we find out more about Fusion? Uh, one is the website, yes. uh, official website, fusion.org. Fusion.org. Yes. If you want to find out more about Fusion, go to www.fusion.org. And you can also follow the twi uh, my personal Twitter. Uh -huh. uh, it's DJ Chen Fusion. DJ Chen Fusion, just and, one word. Yeah, okay. and uh, also uh, any anyone you are interested in Fusion, you can follow the Telegram channel, uh, Fusion Foundation. Fusion Foundation, yes. awesome. All right, I'm gonna put the links down here, and uh, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you, thank you, sir. So good talking to you. Uh, if you want, if you like our video, please also subscribe to FOMO Media, and uh, thank you for watching. Thank you.